Okay, look at this picture. You you see you see how everybody's smiling to the camera, and I look like I'm about to fuck the camera guy. Look look at that. Look at this picture. How the fuck do I zoom in, bruh? Bruh! How the fuck do I zoom in? Look at look at look at okay, look 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 at how everybody okay what the fuck? Look at look at that. Look, 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 look. Where where am I? Look at me. Look at the way I'm look. Why am I looking like that? Like <laughs> You wanna know why that was weird? Because OTB that entire time chat, he was trying to like hold my hold my arm, but he couldn't reach. So he's just feeling my back. I'm like, bruh, stop touching me, motherfucker. You know what I mean? I said, OTB, stop touching me, man. Because he's trying to like, uh, he couldn't reach my back, right? He's just like. Right, you might as well be squeezing my ass. Jesus. Was Kong in the speak? Oh. Kong? Is Kong here? Oh, me? Kath? <laughs> Milo. Christopher Yi! Kong is on the left. Where? Oh my god, Judd. Oh god. Bro, Judd is the worst, bro. Judd is the worst. Do you guys hear what he said? Do you guys hear what Judd said? Oh my god, bro. During the live stream, he said it. Hey guys! Hey guys! We should arrange the way we're standing by Pryo. So all of you will have to go to the back. Dude, he's so toxic, bro. He's so he's so crazy. He just shit talks every like I'm walking with I'm walking with him, OTBs to my side, and Judd just like every single person he sees, he's just shit talking them. He's like, nah, I don't give a shit about you. I'm with Summit One G. I don't get I don't give a shit about all of you, man. I'm with Summit. <laughs> you know, he just says what the fuck he wants. <laughs> But Judd, bro, next time, next time when I, when I meet Judd, I definitely want to go out with him because he's funny as fuck. I just had like other things arranged that I ended up not going out with him. He's funny as fuck, bro. Ziggy, Ziggy was great. Ziggy was great, bro. Ziggy was great. Such a nice guy. So, bro, everybody from NoPixel, such good people. Like, honestly, like, like Burn, Burn is literally Chad. Okay. So... When I was in downtown, uh, they were getting pizza and shit like that. I saw people with guns and shit like that because there was this one guy who was hitting on somebody with a girl. And then the boyfriend got mad and the, the guy just literally went like, you know, what you're going to do about it? You know, and shows a gun and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, that's a little bit crazy. You know, like, uh, you know, I don't want to, that's a little bit wild. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's crazy. And I said, you know, I'm just going to bounce because I don't really want to eat pizza right now. And it's a bit off. So I'm gonna dip out, and and then you know what? You know what? You know what? Burn does burn because he you know because he 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 thought that it was my first time in America or something like that. You know, he was just always the nice guy, man. He would accompany me. He he didn't want to leave uh, my side until I got a taxi and shit like that. And I, it's hard to hate somebody that doing that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to hate somebody that's just nice. He likes to talk shit. He likes to talk shit, but he's he's too nice at the end of the day. You know, so it doesn't work. Gaspachi is funny as well, bro. Gaspachi is funny as hell, bro. He's funny as hell. Where is Nate? Uh, Said, bro. Said was too high to be here. Trav was great. Trav was funny too. Oh my god. Okay. Can I talk about this? I guess I can talk about this. 
Did Ray talk about our dinner chat? Did Ray talk about our dinner? He did? What did he say? What did he say? What did he say? I don't even know if what. No, it's just funny. It was just about the. No, I ate too much. Okay. You want me to tell the true story? Because I got a picture of the fucking bill, motherfucker. Okay. You didn't say Okay, I won't say anything. I won't say anything, man. I won't say anything. <laughs> I met some of the CG boys, yeah. Uzi is mad because he just woke up. Okay. All I'm going to say is I cannot understand how gratuity works for bills, dude. How? Guys, that's unreasonable. That is unreasonable. It's crazy. That was the most expensive dinner in my life. I was like, huh? Dude. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? This is actually crazy. I'm a waitress. I make $2 an hour and split tips. I mean, fair enough. But the thing is, for like 30 minutes of fucking service, and you pay a gratuity of like fucking $400. That's just, it's like, it's why I guess if we split the bill amongst everybody, it would be different. Right. But it's just, just why it's like, it's a culture shock. It's not, I'm not saying it's wrong or whatever, but it's so different to how we do stuff. You know what I mean? It's so crazy. No, it's part of the bill, Jesus. Did I get to hang with Tim Mac? No, I I was I had a drink with Tim Mac, but he was, I think he was he was there for meetings and stuff like that. You know, I'm not sure. Yeah, we had a bill over two k. Correct. What is Jamba doing? He's just doing his poses and shit, bro. He's funny as fuck. Fucking sincere and Toby. Look at them. Russian Ronin. This is Russian, guys. He's the dev for. Uh, he he did a lot of work for Rust and shit like that. He's a good guy too. This pick is shit. <laughs> figure out, uh, figure anything out about the oil rig. Unfortunately, the devs that were involved in the oil rig were not drunk or high enough, so it, we it was very difficult to get any information. Damn! Look at Carlitos chat. Carlitos in the top right here. He's just chilling, bro. He's wearing blue glasses, though. That's a little hint, guys. He might be joining Seaside. You never know. Did I hang out with Flop? Uh, there was a Team Liquid party. That's when we hung out with Flop. Most of the time. Pinku? Where's Pinku? Where is she? Pinky. Pinky. Where's Pinky? Oh, here. Pinky was nice, bro. We were we were at a Starbucks just chilling out. And then like when I arrived, the first thing she said was, Hi, uh, don't worry, guys. Um, I'm not as crazy IRL. <laughs> so cute. Just nice person, you know? Like, you know, when you gotta when you announce yourself like that, it's so cute. I was like, don't worry, I don't, you know. I've met most people already, you know. Everybody seems a little bit crazy, so it's okay. Bottom left? Who's at the bottom left? Crystal! Oh, Crystal, bro. Okay. Okay, I need to think about how I want to say this because I don't want to ruin her image. Because I, you know, I don't know how she wants to like, you know, present herself and shit like that. But okay, okay, all right. She chill, she chill. That's all I'm gonna say. She chill, she chill, she chill. I, 
I'm not saying nothing. I ain't saying nothing, bro. Bro, Ashlyn, fucking toxic as fuck. Ashlyn was toxic as fuck. You know what she said? She said she didn't want to approve any of my businesses. There you go, chat. It's the truth. Toxic. Curvy. I met Curvy as well. Curvy Lama. She's so nice too, bro. Because uh, uh, I found out about GTA RP when I when Curvy. I don't know if I don't know if this story is correct because I don't remember it clearly. But I think she hosted Space Boy after I watched her play Dauntless, and she ended up. And he ended up showing him GTA 5 RP and it was so good, bro. I was like, wow, why does this shit look so fucking real and shit, bro? It was great. It was great. This is Kimchi. He plays Sun Moon, the ex-Korean mafia. Really nice guy. He took all the pictures and shit like that. Who is this girl? I wonder who this is. I'm not sure who that is. Oh, fuck. Uzi, oh my god. Uzi looking like Uzi looking like he got a problem with people, bro. Uzi always looked like he got a problem, chat. I don't know why. Afro was funny as We were at the liquid party and I saw Afro. I'm like, yo, Afro, what you doing, bro? He didn't have any shoes on. I said, why you ain't got no shoes, Afro? Apparently, <laughs> he just bought some new like Jordans. And he wanted to wear them straight away, but he didn't realize that they were not getting, they were not laced up yet. So he walked up to the club with no shoes. He just carried it in a box. And then while we were drinking and shit, I was just saw Afro just like tying his shoelaces and shit, talking about gang leader shit. I'm like, what are you, oh, bro? Put your goddamn shoes on, motherfucker. <laughs> Uzi don't want to be there. That's because of the... This is because of the tension, chat. The tension between GG and GSF. You know, they got to maintain. And for like, hey, 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 hey. You know, and then uh, Uzi's like, I'm going to take your sprays, motherfucker. Oh, this is... Oh, my God. What's her name? Uh, Pond. This is Pond. This is Pond, man. She's so, she's so nice, bro. She's so nice. Lady Hope, she's so nice. Okay. Trav is big brother to Jamba. Jamba is little bro. This is his big bro. This is the same fucker. They are the same people. They're the same people. They dress the same. They look the same. The tattoos look the same, bro. Everything. The way they walk. Everything. It's like the same culture shit. You know what I'm saying? That was that was funny. This is the Kirk Jerkums, one of the clown motherfuckers. This is striking. This is striking striking contact. This guy plays Kem. This guy plays Kem. Oh yeah, Kath, bro. Kath has nice tats, bro. She's very nice too. We were we had breakfast together, and he and she was making fun of. She was making fun of Seaside. After I left because they tried to kidnap cops or something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Did Chatterbox go? Yes. This is the guy that plays Chatterbox. This guy right here. At the top. Middle top here. This guy that, play that, that plays Chatterbox. Oh, bro. I cannot, bro. This guy. <laughs> I was so toxic, chat. I was so toxic, man. This guy plays Levante from GSF. I was I was high out of my ball sacks, bro. And he was talking about like how you feel about gang war shit, you know what I'm saying? And, <laughs> and he's like, it's always a problem, uh, you know, because you know when you lose and shit like that. I said, then I like I, I went back, I sat back, I was like, well, I don't really lose war, so I don't know what the fuck how that how that fucking feels. <laughs> I can't believe I said that, bro. I said that out loud, bro. I said that out loud. Afro's to my right, Whippy's to my left, and I'm just like chatting shit. Ah, I shouldn't have said it. I felt so bad, bro. 
I said so bad, bro. <laughs> I just, I felt so shit, dude. Oh, man. I felt so bad. Dude, I don't, that was, it was toxic as fuck. It was toxic as fuck, man. Catching heat from the south side. What the fuck are they going to do? What are they going to do? Haas has the best. What the fuck? Do you see this guy taking a picture on the left here? This guy extra as fuck. Oh, don't get me stuck. I love everybody from the BBMC. Okay. I love everybody from the BBMC. But the one problem they got, where is he? It's Colleen, bro. Fucking Colin. Lieutenant Custard. Holy shit. Oh my god. I can't, bro. When he's when he's messed up, he's like this. Dinosaur. Why are you talking about me being socially awkward, man? Blah 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 blah. I'm like, god damn custard! I'm wet! It's wet, it's raining right now, custard! You know what I'm saying? Cut, bruh. He's like spitting on me and shit. Uh, he's great though. <laughs> he's honestly, the BBMC boys are so nice. Flip that to custard. I told it to him to his face. I, we, were, we were all laughing about it. The thing is, Kate was there too. And she said, she was like, yup, yup. You got to stop that. He's <laughs> just, <laughs> uh, just so funny, bro. Like, I, I don't know. They're just good people, bro. They're just good people. Like, it's just... I was so surprised like at how chill and normal most people were, except OTB, but everybody else was quite okay. Who's that hottie in the front door? Is that like a, a bait? Because then I would say, oh, this girl, and then, then you would know that I think that girl's hot. Uh, Unagi. Ah, you see, you see, you see. You know who's hot here? Kimchi. Talking about kimchi? Yeah, kimchi, man. Twitch.tv slash kimchi, man. You know what's up. Okay, so who... What else? Who else do we have to talk about here? Oh, my God. This guy, bro. Silent Sentry. He hasn't, this was the funniest thing. Okay. I Sentry has never seen my face and he hasn't been RPing in a while. Right. So we're just chilling out and he's talking to Whippy. I was like, Oh, nice to meet you, Ron Otterman. He didn't know who I was. Right. And he was like, Hey, Hey man. I'm like, okay, bitch. All right. It's going to be like that. All right. And then he sees me the next day. He sees me the next day. Oh my God, man. He didn't register to me, man. Lucian Benji. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. He's such a good guy too, bro. He did, bro. L listen, like, uh, you know, if, if I'm going to give you an allowance of uh, not remembering who I am, it's got to be when you're like really fucked up and I was fucked up too. So it's perfect. The weirdest thing that Sentry said to me, chat. I love you. I love you, man. You said Vagus for life. <sighs> I don't think. I don't think. <laughs> he might be a little bit behind on the meta, guys. He might be just a little bit behind the meta. He plays Ron Ottoman, the guy who used to play poker with Benji all the time.
no CG on this picture. Oh, I, yeah, I talked to, I thought I talked to Taco and Coolio. Uh, CG are too cool. Uh, you know, it's just like on the server. They're too cool. You know what I'm saying? They're too cool. They got their own parties. They're doing their own thing. You know what I'm saying? So next year I have to orchestrate something similar. What do you think about Whippy, bro? Whippy, mm, bro. Ah, oh my God. Huh? What's going on here? Whoa. Whippy, I was so happy to have met Whippy, bro. There was like another POV of me meeting Whippy. And bro, it was so cute, bro. Like, I love this guy. I Like, I told this guy, like, you know, he's my boy, man. He's such a good guy. He's such a good guy. Like, I cannot stress enough how this guy really helped me, like, last year, chat. Like, my prior wasn't the best. I couldn't get on the server. But then he wanted me to be able to, you know, RP with him, with X, and get some exposure and shit like that. And he never... You know, it was never not natural. You know, he would never... He, like, when he told me to hop on the server and make sure I was around and shit like that, he never told me, oh, my God, it's because this is XQC or anything like that. It was more of, like, you know, let me bring you into any RP that I'm doing right now because, you know, it's... I know that you can get in and pray and shit like that. It just, it just meant a lot, bro. It changed my life, right? It changed everybody's life, too. You know, like we get, we get to do a, a lot of different shit now because of that stuff. You know, it's, it was amazing. And I told him if he ever needs any content, he wanted, he wants to do anything, he can just tell me. You know, but he's, uh, I think we'd be still a little bit shy about that kind of shit too. So it's not easy for him. So you know, it's definitely a feel strong man moment. You know, it's really just good people, man. The He's just, just a good guy. Just a good guy. 